Hey guys, and thank you so much for watching the video. Today we're gonna open um, a lot of these sets of Pokemon that I just picked up from the store. Um, I thought it'd be fun to kind of go through and open a bunch of them at one time. Uh, we have some Silver Tempest. We have a Pokemon Go box filled with six packs, I believe it is. So that'll be fun and exciting. Um, we also have some Trick or Trade, which will take me a while to open. But I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, thank you for watching, and I guess we'll start with the, um, the Silver Tempest first. I'm sorry, I hope the, the camera's alright. So we'll do the Silver Tempest first. Let's see what we can find today. I'm hoping something good. I'm not as familiar with the newer Pokemon like you guys are, so if you just like make comments and just help me along and try to figure out who's who, I would truly appreciate it. Let's see if we can find anything good. Oh, and I'm sorry, I forgot to shuffle the cards. I should have did that. Yeah, nothing really um, too good. And here's a code card. Feel free to use it. And we'll just open to the next pack and see what we find. So let's see what we get here. There's your code card. Gotta do one, two, three, four. A nice energy there. Nice trainer card. I really enjoy the trainer cards. Hope we find something good. That's a nice fo identified fossil. I do like the artwork on that. I don't think I have that one for my collection. Let's see what else we have. Another Silver Tempest pack. Let's see what we can find. And I hope you guys are doing well in your searches as well, trying to find some great cards. Here's another code card. Oh, sorry. One, two, three, four. Fire energy. Psyche Pokemon. Like I said before, I really like the trainer cards. I really like how um, they're different from the originals. There's so many of them. Yep, we didn't find anything too special. That's okay. So I'll open next, we'll open the other Silver Tempest pack. See what we can find in here. So we got three packs in here and we got a, um, a nice promo card. I really enjoy the promo cards because they're very difficult to find. Um, this I got from a special store where they have discounted and this morning there was a line of people at the counter. And I was one of them, but you can only buy three Pokemon products at a time, and they had hundreds of sets of different kinds, and it's always fascinating. So we work as one team to kind of share and go through all the Pokemon, and we pick what we like. So keep that code card. Here's the promo card. I really enjoy the promos. I always loved collecting them from the original series, um, the original base set. So they're a lot of fun. Here's the Silver Tempest. Let's see what we can find. Sorry, I'm just so much on my table right now with Pokemon. So, oh, and there's your code card. Hope you guys get lucky. So we'll see what we can find. 
There's a silver energy. Uh, excuse me if I'm saying something wrong. Dragonair. Venomoth. These are Pokemon I know. A Feeboss I haven't heard of. That's a nice one. Oh, wow. Nice Canvas Trainer card. It's a little dinged up on the top a little bit, but still. I think it's a really nice card. I wish it wasn't dinged. Let's move on to our next pack. Sorry, I'm just getting organized here. Because later on I'm going to sleeve all the cards and I have a whole box set, which I'll, I go through and I just organize everything. I think that's the best thing to do. Here's your code card. Oh, sorry. One, two, three, four. So we have a nice psychic energy. Nice gym trainer. It's a nice card. Nice Venomoth. Sandy Goss. I like that. So we'll just keep going through them. See if we find something special. I mean, I sleeve all my cards. I want to keep them in good shape, good condition. Um, Make sure they're protected. Oh, wow. Okay, perfect. And the last one in the pack. And here's another code card. Oh, one, two, three, four. Nice water energy. Nice gold bat. And that's it for the Silver Tempest. So we got the one really good card, the good trainer card. I just wish that it wasn't the, the stat in the top, but still, I mean, that's a really nice card. Yeah. Okay. And next we'll open our trick or trade pack. Now this was only $7.49. Now they had a lot of other box sets. I couldn't even tell you which ones, but they had tons of them. I don't know what that is. I think a lot of dust. So let's take all out. All the packs. A lot of dust in there. Okay. Let's see what we have. Sorry, I'm just trying to get dust off the table. Perfect. Okay. And we'll just start going through them. I'll start with the first pack, sorry. I'm just trying to go with whatever that is. I don't know what that is. Okay. So we got our trick or trade, three edition little game cards. Let's see what we have. So we have that. That's a nice one. And I'm not too familiar, unfortunately. Okay. These are fun because, I mean, you could open so many of them at a time. And they're really affordable. Um, they had them at the store out of the, the the big bag. And they usually sell them for like 17 cents a pack. So it's it's pretty affordable, really. Um, but this is a perfect way to kind of complete a collection you may have. This is what I do. And some of the cards have really great graphics. I'm just 
just trying to clear all this stuff off the table. Put that in that bag. Now I'm not certain because I have a list of what this collection, this set entails, but I really don't know if I have all the cards to it. I'll have to figure out the list. Okay. And I should be shuffling these truthfully, but since they're so small, I figure out. We have like a lot of packs to go. Haven't even really made a dent. Nice Mewtwo card. Cubone. Let's see what else we have. Yeah, so for all these sets and cards, I think I spent around like $30. $34, I believe it was. So it wasn't too bad. I mean, that's quite a deal. And I mean, they had so much there to choose from. And, like, everybody's picking something different. And it's it's just fascinating. It's at this store. I think I'm always putting in the videos. It's like a wholesale store. And they have tons and tons and tons of stuff. Not just Pokemon, but they have magic cards as well. They have other cards. Um, all kinds of stuff. It's not just cards they sell. They sell everything. So that's a nice one. It's going to take me a while to sleeve all these. But that's alright. It, it'll be fun doing it. Enjoyable. So when I was younger, I originally collected, I have pretty much the entire base series set of Pokemon cards. Um, and one day I'm going to have to make a video for you guys and kind of show you what I have, but unfortunately I don't have them with me. Um, but that's kind of where I started and I did complete pretty much most of it. I think I have all the cards except one or two. Um, and then after that I wanted to get into the other series, like the, uh, the Neo series. Um, and I went to work when I was in high school, but I totally forgot about it collecting and I never finished. So now I'm trying to continue where from where I left off and kind of finish the collection. But um, I know now it's much tougher to get uh, like Neo Discovery, Neo Genesis, um, the EX series. It's almost impossible to get a lot of cards now, brand new backs. So I'm trying to piece it together one card at a time. But uh, I hope you guys are enjoying this. Um, it's just fun trying to recollect and get your collection. I mean, I'm not really into, like, if the, the card doesn't have to be in full mint condition, but I would like it to be, especially with the newer cards. Uh, but if I can get an older card that's in pretty good shape, I'll take it. There's Gengar. But yeah, let me know in the comments. I mean, let me know what cards you like or... Are you trying to complete a certain collection? Um, I'm looking everywhere. I'm trying to start with the Neo Genesis, but uh, it's very hard to do. As I showed before in one of my previous videos, um, for the Neo Genesis, I did um, find a bunch of cards online for like a quarter a piece, so it was pretty incredible. But I'm going to continue doing that, and I got a hollow for like $5 that wasn't in too bad of shape. So, yeah, I thought this trick or trade pack was a great idea. The way they did this set, it just like kind of popped up. And I was like, oh, that's smart. Yeah, 
off, so I'm gonna have to wipe this. I'm sorry, have to wipe this table off later. Should have did in the beginning. Oh, we had a spill. There you go. Okay, sorry about that. This video is not gonna be 100% perfect because there's like so much I'm doing at one time. And I'm gonna see if I can get all this. Just kind of move all whatever that is off the table. Cubone. Yeah, I'm excited to open the um, the Pokemon Go pack because I really don't have too much of the Pokemon Go, um, so that'll be exciting. Kind of see what's in there, and and I'm not too much of an expert with like the newer sets. So. Oops, sorry. Gonna have lots of technical difficulties. Which just bear with me on this. I think it's just fun trying to go through all the cards and. Um, let me just clear that off a little bit. I don't know what that is, really. Sorry. Okay, let's continue. I'm probably actually in a second going to get something to wipe it off. I don't want the cards to get wrecked, whatever it is. We have a nice clean space to open it. Okay. Yeah, so this is a great way to complete this whole series. We have a few more packs to go, and then we'll get into the uh, Pokemon Go box, which is really nice. Yeah, but not bad for, like, if you want to buy a single pack at the store, not bad for, like, 16 cents. If you want to complete the whole collection. So there's 40 packs with 3 packs. That's 120 cards for, like, 7 bucks. I don't know how much that is per card, but that's, I think, a pretty reasonable deal, truthfully. So... stuff is that came out of the bag, but I want to wipe that up.
Uh, yep, we're almost done. We have four more to go. Let's see what else we find here. Oh, I'm sorry. Stan fell. So let's just go through them. Let's keep that stand up. I hope this doesn't bore you, but if you want, you can skip ahead to the uh, the Pokemon Go series and me opening that. I think that might be a little bit more interesting. Um, but it's good, because I like getting all the cards. I mean, I have so many, and now I have like duplicates and triplicates and all kinds of cards. So... There we go. I think it's old candy. I'll have to get something to wipe this off. Okay, now we are finished with that. Let me just quickly clear it. Why that's like that? What a mess. Okay. Cleaned off the table and we are back. I think that was all old candy in there because they were trick or trade bags. Um, I'm going to open up the Pokemon Go Team Mystic box. That was only $15. So we have six packs inside. We have a Special promo card. I'm sorry. Let me just take it off screen a little bit. Let's try to open it. Here we go. Here's what it looks like. Let's just pop it open a little bit. We got a nice set of stuff. Okay. We'll take all the Pokemon Go packs out. We got a nice pin. There. All you guys have the Pokemon Go cards. Nice pin. And let's see what we get. Also have a really nice trainer card. I'll have to make sure that gets protected. But let's go through the remainder here. So we got our Pokemon Go's. Sorry, I'm just trying to move stuff. There's a lot of stuff on the table right now. Yeah, I really don't have, oh, there's your code card. I really don't have too many Pokemon Go cards. Um, there's a card store near me, so I usually try to pick a lot up when I can. So this is gonna be very interesting because I don't have most of these. Squirtle, Beedor, oh, excuse me, I don't even know, Onyx. I know I pronounced that wrong. Nice Moltres card, and a nice Snorlax. Okay, another Pokemon Go. Uh, nice, there you go, everybody. Pokemon Go, get your packs. Four. And there is a Lightning Energy, a nice Chansey. Egg Incubator, another Ivysaur, another oh, nice Charmander, nice Bulbasaur, Magikarp, another Bulbasaur, perfect. Okay, let's see what else we find in the Poke. I like the artwork on the packs, I really do. I like how they did it. Um, that's my favorite thing about them. Sorry, code card. As you can tell, I'm not too much of a professional YouTuber doing this, but that's okay. A nice 
Nice Rock Energy. Nice Chansey. Spark. Ivysaur. Bulbasaur again. Pidov. Magikarper. And a nice Eevee card. Wow, that's a nice Zapdos. I do like that. Put that in the pile. Another Pokemon Go pack. Here we go, another Pokemon Go trading card game code. One, two, three, and four. Let's go through it. So we got a fire, nice Charmeleon. Nice Pikachu, Squirtle, Slow Poker. That's a nice Pikachu card. I do like that. Nice hat with the Pokemon cards on the hat. Okay, and here's your code card. So, one, two, three, and four. Nice Psychic Energy we start off with. Slowbro. Steelix. Pikachu again. Rotata. Charmander. Dove. Wow. A Mel Metal, I'm guessing that's how you pronounce it. V-card. That's really nice. Oh, and there's 70. I didn't know there were 70 cards in the set. And the final... Pokemon pack opening for today. And guys, here's your code card. Sorry. One, two, three, and four. Let's go. So we got a nice fighting energy. Oh, that flew across there. War Torador. Nice trainer. Nice Ivysaur. The Barbel, Slowpoke, Bidoof, Magikarp, Lorm Module, and another V-Card. I don't know how to pronounce his name. If you can pronounce it, please let me know. And yeah, well, thank you guys for watching. Um, we got a lot of great stuff today. And if you liked the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much. And take care and have a wonderful day. Hey guys, I found this at the end of the Pokemon Go adventure, so here you go. Six more code cards. Get them while they're hot.